Welcome back to today's Photo Minute. My name is Brian Osborne, and uh, this was kind of an unplanned video segment I wanted to do for you. I was uh, doing the same exercise that uh, I presented to all of us today, and one of those was to shoot a macro picture of something really up close, but to do it in a way that you may not even know exactly of what we're looking at. And so, uh, just in case you guys think that these exercises are just to get you out and shooting, I was, I was kind of challenged to be thinking about how uh, I might come up with a different shot for my submittal as well. And so I uh, had seen this little uh, tiny solar powered uh, pump um, uh, uh, fountain in our bird bath and I was initially just thinking the water coming up streaming up into the air and so uh, I decided to start photographing that and then as I did I actually can't, stumbled on some other shots that I thought were almost more interesting. All these shots I'll be posting um, with, uh, with this video on our website, but I just wanted to show you a little bit. So I'm going to get the camera from our camera operator, which is my wife, Cindy, my production assistant today. And uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit with the actual video and show you where I started with the shots that I was taking and then what it really worked itself into. First of all, I wanted to get down low to kind of feature this fountain. And um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit tighter, and I thought it'd be kind of cool just to get the water up in the air, which was uh, fairly nice to do. Um, we're going to have another lesson on the polarizer, but right now I have the lens pretty polarized, and that means that you're actually seeing through the surface of the water. And because of the deterioration on this pump that I was photographing, uh, I didn't necessarily want to draw attention to that. So one of the things I did was actually to unpolarize it. I'm doing it right now in the video. Do you see how that really cleans up the surface of the water? The second thing I discovered is that the lower I get to it, the more it almost becomes almost an abstract. And so I started to get myself even lower and lower to the surface of the water, closer and closer. And I uh, thought it was pretty cool to get pictures of that water coming up, and you'll see some of those. Obviously the water uh, in the fountain is actually reflecting on the surface of the water in, in addition to that. But then I started noticing that even the patterns just around this little hole that is acting as the pump became really, really, really interesting. And I got some neat abstract patterns from there. Um, to kind of build on that whole idea, once I started to focus in on that uh, dark hole in the middle of kind of that reflection or that glossy surface, I also started to change my angle because that changes my background. And so if I do something like this, end up with a little bit different background, different texture. There I can get some blue sky almost in the picture. And the lower I get, the less you actually see that there's a pump under the surface of that water. Do you see it happening right now? Now I can crop in on that picture and come up with some really neat things. It all started with just the idea of getting uh, capturing a little bit of water up in the air. Um, and then it became something a whole lot more. Just by the encouragement that I gave myself and you of getting out and uh, finding some macro close-up images that we could play with this weekend. And I hope that you will be able to share some of your pictures this weekend as well on our website or on our Facebook page. Thank you again. Have a great weekend. This is today's Photo Minute.